Hey my baby pandas, welcome back. I know I've been MIA for a little bit so I cannot wait to share with you guys something that's really close to me um, and I love them. If you can tell by the title, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a portion of my healing crystal collection. I love collecting crystals. I love the meanings. I love the properties they carry. Um, so yeah, if you guys are new to my channel or have been here for a while, this is basically an update of a portion of my crystal collection. It's crazy how much more crystals I have. Um, if you guys want to see kind of my crystal jewelry or the bigger pieces, let me know in the comments below and I will film a separate video for those guys. But right now I'm going to be showing you the uh, crystals that I have personally in my room. So here is this very, very cute organization um, clear case that I got from Amazon. It was so worth it. But let's start with what's outside. So in front of my PC or my computer, I have um, Shungite. I have, I think this one is white calcite. And this one is um, Angel Aura Quartz. Let me show you guys how cute the Shungite is because it has turtles on it. Hold up. Like, this is amazing. I've always wanted Shungite because it is good to have it near your PC or any electronics to help kind of negate all of the waves and rays that comes from that. So it kind of protects you from... I think there's a certain name for it, but I know it protects you from the um, electronic waves and there are obviously other meanings to shungite and p.s i'm not i might not name all of the crystals because then this video would be so long but if there is a certain crystal that you see when we're going through this and i didn't name it let me know also and i will um reply back with what the name is so let's start up here which is super super cute so this is just, oh my gosh, I just am in love. Let's just move this cutie down here. Okay, so I have, of course, an amethyst tower. This one is pet uh, petrified wood. And if you guys are interested, you could also check out, um, if you Google what I'm saying, like petrified wood, you'll find out what it means and everything. But I just love the look of this. And it's amazing how it is basically a piece of wood that's been crystallized. Look at that. It's crazy. I love it. It's like my only petrified wood piece. Here I have two Shungite um, worry stones or palm stones. And then underneath it I have... Um, this is crazy. Wow, it actually looks really nice because I have lighting right now. This is blue tiger's eye palm stone. I love... Blue tiger's eye, I just find it super beautiful. But these are the same thing. Here, this is the other um, the other tiger's eye. But this one, the blue is a little bit hard to see. It's like really deep blue. It's hidden in there. But let's put these back. And then, the little guys over here... I have like little, little, tiny little guys. So here's more amethyst. Um, good for gritting and all of that stuff. Amethyst points. I have um, rhodonite or rhodochrosite. Um, kind of jewels. That if I wanted to make pendants or whatnot, I could do that. Here is snowflake obsidian. Clear quartz. Howlite. And same thing here. Here I have green tourmaline. Hold on, let me see. Green tourmaline. There we go. Green tourmaline and goldstone. And then here is my panda. I'm not sure if that's um, specifically a crystal or not, but I got it from a fair and I, I just love it. Is it a panda? I'm not sure. It looks like a bear. Hold on, let me double check that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> no, come on. Stabilize. Ugh. Hold on one second, guys. I'm, I'm so glad I have my tripod with the camera right now to help this guy focus. Do you guys see? 
I think it's a, for me, I'm going to say it's a panda. What do you guys think? I think it is. And then, let me lift this guy to show you guys what is underneath it, which is a lot of, I, if I'm into palm stones, I just love holding on to them when I'm meditating or if I need kind of a focus to keep me grounded when I'm going through anxiety. These have helped. I will tell you that. So, um, yeah, I really love using these crystals as tools as well. So I have black tourmaline, which is one of my ultimate favorite um, crystals. It is very good to keep uh, negative energies or spirits away. It's just a, a very great protection, protection crystal. So I have two black tourmalines. And I have... Oh, shoot. I wish it would focus better. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on a second. It's like my camera is seeing everything else because my room is so colorful. I think this one is Eyelight. I feel like it is Eyelight. And then I have Blue Calcite. This one, so I bought this thinking this was Pink Tourmaline. Hold on, come on, focus. I thought this was Pink Tourmaline, but I don't think it is. Um, I was trying to research what the name was for this. I think it's like Rubellite or something. And if you, <laughs> P.S., for all of you guys new to all of this crystal language, don't worry. In the beginning, I was learning as well. And in time, you get used to what's what, trust me. So, just watch and learn. Don't worry. It's not um, too complicated when you think about it. This one is um, Rose Quartz. Oh, come on, camera. And this one's just really lovely. It's always good to have that in your collection. And then I have a, an awesome, awesome gray or black moonstone palm stone. Palm stone? <laughs> Why does that sound like a tongue twister? But this is a gray moonstone. And I love just holding these and, you know, kind of meditating things in my mind or staying calm so I'm just gonna set you guys back down oops put this back and now we're moving on to my little uh, shelfie unit that I got here which I love honestly if you are a collector of crystals as well or just like anything that can fit in stuff like this I would recommend it I would because seeing you could still see everything but it's organized. Um, so it helped my desk a lot. So let's move on to the first drawer. drawer, drawer. <laughs> and I kind of organized this by, so the top, like with the smaller stones, kind of by color. And then you'll see down below shapes. <laughs> so up here, I have black amethyst. A lot more amethyst. I have rhodonite, which is the pink guy here. I have infinite, which I just bought. Let me see if I could kind of... Uh, pink howlite. Here I have malachite. Malachite? Malachite. Which is beautiful. And then I have ruby. I think one of these are ruby, or these guys are ruby and... Zyocyte, if I'm pronouncing this incorrectly, I am so sorry. But this, I have to show you guys how beautiful this silky malachite piece is. It is beautiful and it kind of has like a shine to it when you like move it around. It really looks like fabric. <laughs> uh, what else do I have in here? This one I think is Green Adventuring. Or Amazonite. No, no, this one's Amazonite. Hold on. Focus. Focus. There we go. Oh. This one is Amazonite for sure. Um, and then I have this awesome citrine, which is natural. I think this one is raw uh, rhodonite or rhodochrosite. So that is what is in here. I have rose quartz, I have lipidolite, I have charoite, charoite, 
Oh man, some of these names though kill me. I really try my best. And then this one is purple opal. It's really hard to see. Hold on, let's focus. Come on, we got this. There we go. This one has, do you see those little purple chunks in it? I think they're amazing and gorgeous. This was a little bit expensive. Um, I think from what I could remember, this is purple opal. Like little opal pieces in there. So that is this draw. Draw wah wah. <laughs> and then here, as you can see, I kind of did like the little um, grays and reds and definitely a lot of tiger's eye, the yellows, browns. Um, so in here, I have this. This one I also just bought too. This. I wish it was just, there we go, this Briciated Jasper, and I could not resist getting this guy, and he was only $5 with 35% off at my local crystal store. Um, I had to get it, and I love the meaning. I am going to be studying that more. This one, I never got to find out what it was. It was in a pile. Hold on, let's focus. This was in a pile, in a basket. And I just grabbed it and it called me to get it. So I'm not sure. If you guys know what crystal this is, please let me know. But this is a worry stone. Worry stones have that little like indent in here. So you could kind of like hold it. Mm. Lots of tiger's eye as you can see. Some of the names have left my mind at the moment. But let me show you these guys. Oops. Look how gorgeous this is. Isn't that amazing? It's like it's like a cave. A cave of wonders. <laughs> but seriously though, if you guys look inside, there's still more crystals going through. I love that. There is a name to this. I totally forgot. I'm sorry. Um, I'll try and find it. If you guys really want to know, like I said, let me know in the comments below. If you want if you really want to know a crystal name, come on, focus, dude. Wow, look at that. It's like Ugh, I just love that. Um, I have carnelian. These are my carnelians here. I have like a really dark one and a really bright carnelian. Carnelian, I know what I've been researching. Because uh, I bought most of my crystals, you know, for certain things. And I know Carnelian is good for heart or heart chakras. This one, oh my gosh, I just had the name on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue and I forgot. But it is a specimen. Look at that. Do you guys see that? That is crazy. So I have like two pieces that make a hole. For that, so this is like my orange brown section. Let me set you guys down again. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I've always wanted to share this side of me because not only do I collect anime manga figures, but I love healing crystals. So here is the next section. You know what? I think I'm just gonna hold it like this. You let me know if that works. Okay, this makes me a little nervous with how much it's shaking. All right, so let's do, <laughs> let's change it up. So here are all of my gorgeous, basically black and some blue uh, crystals that I collect. Um, we have black kyanite. Black Kainite, which looks, it reminds me of Game of Thrones. I love that. We have Black Kainite. We have a lot of things in here, to be honest with you. Um, we have Black Kainite that I just showed you. This is raw Labradorite. Labs. Lab. These are raw. They're not polished. This one. Oh, shoot. This one is also a new one I just got. I think it starts with an A. I need to check that out, but this is a gorgeous one too. A gorgeous palm stone or worry stone. We have this piece that I think this one is obsidian. It's either obsidian or onyx. There we go. 
this is totally Game of Thrones vibes. Am I right? Or am I right? <laughs> and there's a hole, I think, near the mouth. And I could put it through a necklace and make it into a necklace, which I think is cool, man. Um, I also have this, um, oh, black tourmaline again. I do have a lot of black tourmaline because I just love it. This one is um, Tektite. And this was kind of, um, so when I researched this guy, hold on one second. This one took me a minute to focus, actually. Kind of freaky, but kind of cool. So this is Tektite. And from what I've researched and seen about this is it's kind of alieny. <laughs> I know this sounds weird, but I heard that this is basically from outer space and there's some alien connection with this. I mean, imagine if this was an alien finger, I would die. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna stop. But for real though, Tektite, look it up. I'm not lying to you. They say it's from space and there's some alien connection. So let's go back. Uh, this one... This one's Lapis Lazuli. As you can see, I don't have a lot of blues, shockingly enough, uh, when it comes to my little, um, little crystals that are not jewelry. And then this one is, uh, I think, these are quartz for sure, and there's, like, it's either ritualized quartz or... Ritualized quartz, but there's black tourmaline in these guys. Oh, I wish I had the names on the top of my head, but this one is my absolute favorite. This is Himalayan quartz, I think. And if I am wrong, please let me know. Because sometimes I uh, slip slip up with some of these names. Because it's a lot. It's, it is a lot to learn. But I am doing my best. I feel like I'm doing actually pretty decent and then this one I know is a zebra it's called zebra something zebra stone looks like a tooth and then I have this soda light so yeah that's what's in this guy so like all of the black crystals gray crystals so let me put you guys back down here, and then I'm going to put this part away and bring out the next one. I can't wait to show you guys the bottom three rows, though. It's going to be crazy. Okay. So, let me just actually put it like that. Okay. So here we have... Lapidolite at the end there, raw lapidolite. I also have this beautiful big um, smoky quartz, which I love. Some of these, by the way, are in my original crystal collection video, which I did, I think, two, three years ago. So if you want to see how it looked like before, take a look at that video because my collection has grown. And like I said, I still have jewelry and also bigger pieces, which are around the house. Here is a citrine, which is beautiful as well. Come on, focus. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Citrine crystal. Beautiful. My gosh. I love this piece a lot. And then I have these guys I also just bought. I have to look up the specific name because it's not just quartz. Hold on, come on. There we go. This is not just a simple quartz. There is something more to it. But there's uh, some markings and everything. And then, of course, I have clear quartz. I have green tourmaline in some quartz there, if you can see. Green tourmaline. I have these gorgeous... Um, pyrite cubes that are like QB. So I have one here. Let me take this out. Oops, sorry. So I have this one that's just like well, biome. Come on, focus. This cube, I feel like I'm in Transformers, but <laughs> 
this cube has basically a baby cube coming out of it and it is gorgeous and I know pyrite in terms of um, if you're using it for uh, grounding is really a good grounding crystal because it's solid it has a certain shape I don't know it's something to do with the shape that helps with grounding and then I just have Ooh, come on honey hold on I have this one which is like a perfect cube look at that powerful I love that and then this one I just bought and I've always wanted one and I am tempted to get a bigger one but this one is I think uh, lingam shiva lingam it's like an egg shape and I know like a part of or some of the properties it's good for fertility that one I just got and then I have clear quartz here and then this cute uh, crystal clear quartz ornament that I got so now moving on to the bottom three rows, which I can't wait to show you guys. So let us begin, shall we? So here, oh, I love this. So here, let me just make sure it's stable. We have all my, basically most of my spheres, big spheres, little spheres, pyramids, moons, and a cube. And I will name them for you. I'll name most of them. So, this one is Chrysocolla. Which is one of my adored crystal along with Black Tourmaline. I just hope it would focus. Hold on. Okay. Come on. Focus on my baby. There we go. This is Chrysocolla, which is good for communication. It's one of the properties. And it's really good for other things as well. So, like I said, look it up. I'm just kind of giving you uh, what I know about it or kind of like a quick summary of what they are good for. Going back, I have my beautiful uh, Moonstone Sphere, Clear Quartz, uh, Rose rose quartz why do i when i say that i feel like i'm I'm naming it wrong i hope i'm not uh this one is green adventuring this one is citrine this one i think is um obsidian this one i won't lie to you i forgot the name because i just bought this um the other day so when i kind of research more about it it will stick to my brain i have tiger's eye i have blue tiger's eye which look at this bad boy like, that is just crazy. It's basically Tiger's Eye with a blue sheen. That's why it's called Blue Tiger's Eye. Whereas Tiger's Eye is just the normal color that you usually see when you see Tiger's Eye. So I love Blue Tiger's Eye because it's different. This one is uh, Chevron, Chevron or Chevron Amethyst. And why... What's the difference between chevron or amethyst when you see these white markings? So that's how you know it's chevron amethyst. Whereas this is like pure amethyst. You see what I'm saying with the white? So a lot of the chevron will have beautiful markings. I love this little sphere. It's my baby. Then I have these um, moon moon uh, stones here I know this one is some um, oh my gosh is it carnelian I think this one is carnelian and this one's blue agate and then this is amethyst and this one is strawberry quartz and this one is peach moonstone or no peach selenite all right so that's this drawer <laughs> I'm so excited I hope you guys are enjoying I just really wish my camera was focusing a little bit faster. Now here is my other shapes and beautiful design things. As you can see, I have dragons, hearts, stars, um, and skulls. And then our huge raw lab right there. So let's um, show you another one of my top fives. It's so hard to say what's my favorite crystal, but this honestly... 
black tourmaline i would say hold on i hope it will focus black tourmaline come on honey huh it's being stubborn hold on oh there we go so black tourmaline is number one for me i also like dragon's blood which this is dragon's blood and fun fact of dragon's blood they say that the green is basically a, a dragon that's been um that died long ago and this is the remainders of it or like the green is the skin and the red is the blood just look it up guys it is actually really interesting and i know for me um dragon's blood is like for strength and courage which i think is cool imagine if this was like legit dragon dna <laughs> in a skull that is badass but for me if i collect dragon's blood the more red the better they also have other um they have just uh bloodstones too but you'll see the difference if you google in bloodstone and if you google in dragon's blood you'll see that they are very different looking i personally like dragon's blood so here is my other stuff here is my jade dragon oh it's glowing what's going on some energy did you see that glow that was crazy here's my jade dragon i love and adore jade is good it's good luck in asian cultures and then we have my star one this beautiful i think ocean jasper heart I love this. Ugh. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I just really wanted to film this for you guys and just share a piece of me other than my otaku nerdiness. Because I want you guys to know more about me as well. Here's my raw lab. Let me try and get the flash that people love about labs. Hold on. There we go. Look at that. It is raw except for this side of it. And there's the flash. It like flashes in different ways, but here's the raw part of it. Here's one side that's like raw slash kind of not. But that is beautiful. Look at that. All right. Now, the last drawer. <laughs> I feel like I'm butchering when I say that. The last part is my, basically my wands and my double terminated pieces and towers, all of that shebang. There is one here that does look, <laughs> I'm just going to say it, the lipidolite does look weird and no, no. So if you guys are wondering some dirty stuff, no, okay? I just bought it because I love Lipidolite. Um, yeah. I wish it was a tower. And I wish it didn't look like that. I know people, honestly, for real though, some people use this as a massage tool. Not in that way though. <laughs> like, they legitly use it to like, you know, smooth down arms, legs, and like pressure points. So, I really wish, looking back, okay. The Lipidolite, this guy, when I first started collecting... I was desperate for any crystal I could get my hands on. Um, so I wasn't really picky in shape and all of that stuff. But as I go into my crystal collecting and journey, I now pick specific shapes and I'm more specific. Whereas before I just kind of bought it, whatever. I really wish the shape wasn't like that, but what can you do? Um, I went for the meeting, not for the look. So this is my Lipidolite. I don't even know what to call it, a massage wand or yeah <laughs> uh this one i think is an obsidian this one is a um uh chrysanthemum uh chrysanthemum tower and how you could tell is by this flower chrysanthemum chris why is that word so hard for me right now jesus anyways that's what that is this one is oh yeah 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 uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I forgot. This one's green fluorite. You can tell by the green. Here is a beautiful white lab. It's not a moonstone because it kind of looks like it. I really... Come on, focus. 
Come on, camera. I swear, some of these are probably... Here we go. This one is a white lab... Can you see that little flash on the tip? This one is a white lab tower. It's not a moonstone. It does look like moonstone too. Um, these are pink tourmaline, double terminated. And I hope I'm saying that right. Another one. Here's a clear quartz one. This one's ritualized quartz. This is selenite, which I love because it cleanses. It's just a very good cleanser. And it also cleanses other crystals. I just really love selenite. Um, and on it is a, or under it is another one, but it's more clear. I think this one's pictured jasper. This one is orange calcite or citrine. I don't know. It's one or the other. But I love that too. And then here is another fluorite that has beautiful... Here's the light, by the way. That has beautiful blues and greens and purple. Look at that. I love that. Oh, so happy with this. Oops, there we go. Anyways, that is what I have in my room. If you guys want to see my other parts of my collection, like, like I said, my jewelry or the bigger pieces, let me know and I will film that for you guys. Um, I'm so glad that I actually got to do this and organize it beautifully. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave any comment down below and please subscribe and like this video if you can. That really means a lot. Uh, if you need more of me, I do have Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'll leave that in the comments below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye, my baby pandas.